there are mounting questions about baby Lisa's mother's timeline of the evening in question. First, there's the interview where she doesn't exactly rule out that she may have blacked out after apparently having too much to drink. And she now says it's possible she may have last seen baby Lisa hours earlier than she initially told police. The family now has an attorney. In a series of interviews Monday, Deborah Bradley's timeline of the night her daughter disappeared seemed to change. Bradley first told police she checked on her daughter at 10.30 the night of October 3rd, but now says she last saw Lisa four hours earlier when she put the baby to bed at 6.40 after drinking with a friend. Were you drinking a lot that night? I was drinking, but it has nothing to do with my daughter's disappearance. And just as her story appeared to shift Monday, so did her family's legal team, including the addition of a new attorney, paid for by an anonymous benefactor. I believe in them. I do believe that they're telling the truth. And he's not just any attorney. Joe Tacopina is touted as one of New York's fiercest defenders. His long list of clients includes Joran Vandersloot, the primary suspect in the 2005 disappearance of Natalie Holloway in Aruba. Almost immediately, Tacopina defended Bradley's admission that she'd been drinking. It's her being truthful. I mean, they certainly didn't have a blood alcohol test of her. And, and I guess in theory, um, perhaps uh, they never would have known for sure. But, but that's something that she did and she was willing to tell the truth. The search for the truth and for baby Lisa continued into the evening Monday as the FBI used pumps, shovels and metal detectors while draining water out of a creek behind Deborah and Jeremy's residence. We have been all over the city in the last 14 days following up on leads, interviewing people, furthering this investigation, and this is just another step in the investigation. The FBI was back again yesterday searching at this, the family home. As for the attorney, he won't say who's paying for his services. We know it's not baby Lisa's parents. It's the same benefactor who's providing the $100,000 reward.